expose me. I have a lot of energy because I'm very excited about this outfit. <laughs> Front door as if I just got it, but like really it's open. <laughs> Sorry to my neighbors below me. I am back with another haul. Actually, it's been a minute. I feel like I did pretty good in not shopping for a while, but we're back with a haul. The real Sarah didn't go anywhere, she's still here. All of this stuff I feel like is like not out of my comfort zone, but I'm like trying to switch it up, be a little bit more like trendy. I've been filming lots of like fashion reels on Instagram recently. Low key. I've been dressing cuter. And you're trying to not be in sweatpants and a sweater, which... The only reason I am in sweatpants right now is because it's cold outside and it's raining and it's gloomy, which also may impact this lighting. So if that happens, I'm sorry, y'all. The world is like doing something outside and it's it's a lot. I also want to say a huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with Princess Polly and I'm so excited. They gave me a discount code. It's Sarah B20 for 20% off, and they have free shipping Australia wide for orders over $50. I'm also gonna link everything down below for you guys. So if you want to check anything out, which you probably do because it's honestly the cutest clothing order that I think I may have ever done, as well as like the sizes that I got and everything, in case y'all want to try and work it out based on my size. <laughs> Should we wait for the dump truck to finish with the bins? So I Make a coffee. Be right back. I take the camera over and Sarah just starts cleaning. Don't expose me. Can I have a coffee too, pal? You just have one. No. We got the coffee. I'm gonna hopefully get more energy from this. I have only worn one thing out of this whole package, which I'm just gonna show you guys first because it's literally the cutest pair of pants. Dang it, I didn't do the buttons up when I wore them. It's just this pair of plaid pants. They have that cutie. Why am I standing up? You guys are gonna see it in the try on. What is it? Guys, the coffee is not heating yet. <laughs> they have that like little zip that goes off to the side though. It's been cold this week and I was so excited that I literally opened up just these and that is all. They have a little slit at the side. I don't know, these just make me feel like I have my life together and I know how to put together an outfit and I'm here for it. I feel like the little leg split makes it a little spicy. <laughs> the leg split looks great with these socks. <laughs> It's so random. This actually is kind of random. I got this pleated, I don't know if it's a tennis skirt or if it's just a pleated skirt. The color is like kind of intense, but on the website, there was a model wearing this skirt, which by the way is like stretchy and comfortable. Not like any other tennis skirt that I own. The girl on the website was wearing it with this top and it was literally the cutest outfit ever. We're hoping that it works. I had to size up in this just because they were sold that in the smallest size. The model was hot AF, so hopefully it looks like 20% as good on me as it looked on her. But this just looks like one of those Pinterest girls that like know how to style an outfit. I would never think to even get myself this bright blue skirt, but honestly, I feel like I can style this with like a bunch of different pieces in my closet. I don't know if this is like tennis or golf vibes, but like I'm low key here for it. I feel like it's Riverdale vibes for some reason in my mind. Oh, like cheerleader vibes. Yeah. Okay, I like it though. <laughs> so when I was on the website, they had like an influencer edits section and they had a section for Emma Chamberlain. She had this top in here, which honestly looks kind of random when I hold it up, but it was so cute. Hopefully she works out. Seriously, everything that I bought, I just feel like all the outfits that they had put together on Princess Polly, I was just like recreating every single one I saw. I'm kind of getting sporty vibes from like the last few pieces that I've tried on. I'm not mad about it. I got a pair of shoes. I was telling Kane about these, but he said he didn't want to see them until I like revealed them in this video. They're definitely not like any other shoes that I own. They're like these <laughs> sandals. They're super bulky. <laughs> They're super, they're like those dock ones. They just give a little something something. They're like kind of platformy. Honestly, <laughs> these just remind me of being a kid. Again, I just saw it on the website and it looks so cute. I guess that's why you get anything that you see online, but seriously. <laughs> okay, update. I don't know why I didn't record trying on these shoes, but they are my new favorite shoes. They're so cute. I show them later on in the video, but I don't know why I didn't actually show them properly. They're so cute. <laughs> I've seen this sweater on Princess Polly before, but I never got it. So we finally did it. Oh my gosh, why did I not get this sooner? This would even look so cute with this little skirt. Woo! Power! 
I'm kidding. I'm actually kidding. Like, don't you think this would look cute? I think it's a look. <laughs> <laughs> this is so freaking cute. It reminds me of one of those sweaters that you see on the vintage websites that they put like a $150 price tag on because it's like vintage. But she was not $150. I'm obsessed with it. What does it even say? Basketball World Champions, Los Angeles. Never watched basketball in my life. I found out that they were called shackets the other day, like a shirt jacket. Did you know that that's what I they were never called? I never knew a it. Jacket. This one is actually just a shirt, like it's not jackety at all, which is good because it's a little warmer where I live right now. But it's like this with like a really tiny little crop top, some like cute jeans. You know what's funny? You would buy that for me if we're doing like a and, buy me outfit. And then steal it from me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on, pal. You have to agree. This is like me going to get myself a Christmas tree <laughs> like don't you get that vibe from it like I, cute little beanie I thought you were gonna say antlers and I was gonna say no that's too much I love it I feel like this is what everyone wears in like the Christmas movies when they go to get a Christmas tree oh my god Ugh. which we don't even do real Christmas trees in Australia so I'm very fantasizing right there like yeah we do oh wait you did get ratchet Christmas trees didn't you they weren't ratchet didn't they like not look like Christmas trees <laughs> they just look like trees <laughs> like random trees yeah. okay I take back what I said about it being a ratchet Christmas tree Kane just sent me this picture of his Christmas tree when he was growing up it was a real Christmas Mystery, that is the cutest thing ever. And he told me that the little Christmas ornament is a DIY. What a little DIY king. That is too pure. <laughs> This is a very teeny tiny little crop top. I thought it was an eye mask. It's what not an eye room mask room? now. I'm not filming holes with Kane in the room anymore. Anyway, I am obsessed with this color. I have so much of this in my wardrobe right now. I just feel like this is gonna look so dainty. Like this even with sweatpants and the flannel. So every fashion vlogger that I follow on Instagram right now is wearing like oversized like dress pants, slacks, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I saw these ones online and I so hope that this works out because these are so cute. I think I have to stand back because I'm pretty sure they're quite big. They look crazy, but on the model, they literally look so good. Me shopping because of the model. Part 20. <laughs> They have this really subtle like pinstripe detail all over them and I'm obsessed with this like beigey color right now. These give me like CEO vibes. <laughs> They're so cool. Like you own a fashion brand if you're wearing them. Yeah, like give me like a little blazer and look at me. I feel like these look so cool with docks. I have nothing on my feet. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I found this two-piece set that reminds me of travel bloggers. It's made out of this like towel material that feels so comfortable. These are the shorts. They're like this like khaki green kind of color and they have this little matching button-up crop top. Holding it up, maybe not, but when I put it on my body. Princess Polly has so many two-piece sets, which is honestly my favorite kind of clothing to buy because it makes me feel like I got my ish together. It like does all the work for me and then it looks like I put together a cute outfit, but really I just bought a two-piece set and did nothing. I love it. It's like beach, but it's also like safari vibes. The towel material is like a vibe. The princess Polly people are gonna be like, I can't believe she calls it towel. <laughs> They're like, this is not towel material. What are you talking about? That outfit with your sandals would be so cute. <laughs> I had to put the whole vision together. Market vibes, right? I got the... Do I have to blur that? <laughs> 100% here for it. I'm moving a lot. I have a lot of energy because I'm very excited about this outfit. <laughs> I got these jeans that are like button up, which is gonna be like low key annoying whenever I have to go to the bathroom. I feel like they're pretty snug mom jeans, but not too baggy. They're like the exact perfect color of blue. The jeans are such a vibe. I feel like I would probably size up if you wanted like a looser fit but I'm so obsessed with the buttons even though it would make it so inconvenient to go to the bathroom. Like it would look cute, so. That's all that matters. I haven't pulled this out of the box yet because Kane Foster saw it and he told me that it was cute and I'm hoping that I got it in a small enough size that he cannot steal it from me. So I got this oh, yes. Portland sweater. I, oh, I feel like it might be slightly too short little arms for you, pal. Mm. Love that for me. But this is about to go missing. I thought this was super cute. I would do like a little bra tuck with this with some cute little jeans this gives me like a little bit of vintage vibes very happy i didn't order this in any size bigger so kane can't take that from me i still will pal i really don't think it's gonna fit you we'll find out i just realized this is definitely oversized enough for kane foster so um 
I probably should never take this off, otherwise he will steal it. You know it. I hope you know I'm taking it home. You're soon. not taking it home, pal. Yes, no, you're, he's literally being serious. He's not taking it home, pal. You're not. I obviously stole it, and here's Sarah's reaction on FaceTime. <laughs> I was on Instagram the other day and this girl had these really cute biker loungewear shorts on and she said they were from Princess Polly and I'm not sure if these are the exact same ones but I hope they are. They're like this ribbed knit fabric. They're so soft and they're in this really cute little cream color. Like come on, with this outfit right now? This sweater is also from Princess Polly. I got it ages ago but oh, I'm obsessed with headscarves at the moment. My thing about headscarves is every single time I tie it up underneath my head, I like knot it into my actual hair and then I rip a bunch of my hair out from underneath. I found this on there, which is just a white headscarf, but it's actually like a headband. So hopefully, let me do this without getting makeup on it. I feel like I'm gonna get makeup on it. That was very pretty. Actually, <laughs> Wait, be right back. <laughs> She's pretty cute. I love the look of the white headscarf. I feel like it could go with any outfit. I have two headscarves and they're both so intense and I feel like I can't wear them with anything. Princess Polly has some of the best basics. I got this little black crop top, which I think finishes like right underneath your bra. I just feel like this would go with so many different things. I do really feel like the cut underneath this top is so flattering. I don't know, it just like is a little bit extra something something to a black basic singlet top. <laughs> Why is that too cool? That is really cool. But at the same time, like it's low-key the closest you can get to wearing sweats without wearing sweats. This is oversized, these pants are oversized. The whole thing's pretty comfy. I was trying to get in the festive spirit and I was trying to figure out what I was gonna wear on Christmas. And I thought maybe this little number could kind of work on Christmas day. <laughs> it's a halter neck. It's not doing the most when I hold it up like this, but it's gonna be cute. If it looked like 2% as good as it looked on the model, it should be good. This is like 10 out of 10 cuter in real life. I wish you guys could see, but I am actually obsessed with this. It's festive. Pretty sure I saw one of the Meshka twins wear this and she looked super cool. Honestly, this makes me look way more edgy than I actually am. What type of fire? Do you even listen to this band? <laughs> I feel like this is like, is she baddie or is she like business? <laughs> because I'm obsessed with this sage pistachio. I nearly just said pistachio. Every time I buy a piece of clothing, I kind of like envision the whole story behind when I'm gonna wear this. And I just look like with my little white headscarf, some necklaces and this top. I would look so cute at like a picnic, you know? In reality, I just end up wearing this with sweatpants, but that's fine. Right now, I'm obsessed with earrings like this. I actually got these from Princess Polly ages ago too. I got these little cuties, which I even thought would look cool in like my second piercing. I'm just like obsessed with those little dainty hoops that have things hanging off of them right now. You guys can use the code at Sarah B20 to get 20% off site wide. They also have free shipping Australia wide for orders over $50. I'm gonna link all of the stuff that I just showed you guys in this video down below as well as the sizes that I got. Come chat in the comments. I literally always spend like two hours replying to comments when a video goes up. So come say hey. I'm gonna go be cozy in this really bad weather. Bye.